What's up guys, this is Lego Beast Kid 0 and welcome to a video where I'm going to be talking to you about what the next Pokemon game will be. Now this is all in theory, this is all speculation, none of it is true, but it could possibly be true. So as fans, we know that, or we think, that the next Pokemon game is either going to be Pokemon Z or a Ruby and Sapphire remake. So it could be both. In my preference, I'd rather it be the remake, but anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about today. Now, first go over why it could be Z. Uh, just pretty much, it's been done before. Uh, if you look at 2nd, 3rd, and 4th generations, you have gold and silver, and then you got crystal after that, because you had the, uh, you had Ho -Oh, Lugia, and then that third Pokemon in the trio was Suicune, then you had Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, you had Pearl, Diamond, and you had got Platinum from that. And so this third game is probably just going to be the same thing as X and Y, just with a little bit added stuff, the story is going to be changed a little bit, because we know that the Pokemon, main Pokemon in this game is going to be the Z Pokemon Zygarde, or I don't know how to pronounce that, I think that's right. But, we know that the Pokemon's gonna be Zygarde, and another reason is, it just really makes sense. Like, they made Pokemon X, Y, X and Y. What's next? Z. Like, the, why, if they weren't planning on making another, like a trio out of it, just like two Pokemon, then why wouldn't they name it just Y and Z? Pokemon Y and Z like it if it, it just feel it would just flow better because you have x y and you just finish with z it's just it's just common sense it makes sense you know <laughs> that's pretty much what it is oh uh, this last reason i really it, this doesn't really support the game sort this is kind of controversial on whether it supports having a Pokemon Z, but the unused legendary trio that was in Pokemon X and Y, now we're all pretty sure that it's going to be used as an event Pokemon in X and Y later on in the future sometime, but what it could be is Pokemon that have a big role in Pokemon Z. Maybe it goes along with the uh, Zygarde trio or whatever. It, it may, I don't know. It could have something to do with Zygarde, like how in uh, Pokemon 2009 in the movie. Uh, I shouldn't really be relaying the movies and games, but they had uh, the legendary birds, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, and like Lugia was kind of like that big Pokemon, a big role centered around all of them. So we could have the same situation here just in game form or whatever so but I'm I'm kind of thinking it's gonna be used as event. the game though these Pokemon are definitely gonna probably yeah they're they're probably gonna be catchable in Z I don't see why they wouldn't be uh, you're probably you're probably gonna be able to catch them the same way you caught you'd see Mess Spirit and Azelf in Black and White 2 they're just gonna appear in different spots um, I, I don't really know about that, so that kind of supports it, but I honestly do think that there's going to be a Pokemon Z, it just makes sense. I mean, Zygarde hasn't really been spoken of much, like, no one really knows what it is, I mean, it doesn't really have a story behind it, and this is the time for Game Freak to make that story, so I'd say we're going to get Pokemon Z. Next up, we have why or how we could get a Sapphire and Ruby remix. And the biggest reason that a lot of people seem seen is the X and Y like hints or teasers. Uh, one of them says, Kalos region is nice and all, but you should really check out my region. There's this facility that you wouldn't believe. Ah, oh, never mind, you'll see it in due time. So what this is saying is uh, they're mentioning the Battle Frontier. Because that's the facility. And... Uh, 
I'm sorry guys, I just like totally my mind just got erased. But that's but alright. What they're saying is in due time. In due time means that we're gonna get you're gonna be heading back to Hoenn. That that's like it's like kinda like the biggest hint. They're they're saying we, we pretty much know that this facility is gonna be the battle frontier. I mean what other facility is it gonna be? It's not gonna be the battle frontier in Sinnoh, because it's just not the Battle Frontier originated in Pokemon in the Hoenn region. So we're probably gonna head back there. And then except this time Ruby and Sapphire will have Battle Frontier because I don't think they had them in the Game Boy Advance games. And the next one, the next picture it shows, it says, My dad's older brother, that's my uncle, you know, lives in the Hoenn region. So that kind of shows, like they're mentioning the whole region, so that could mean something, but they could be, the trainer in the game didn't have a brother, I don't think the dad did either, I'm not sure though, the, they could be mentioning uh, the dad in the Pokemon in the Hoenn games. That one's kind of controversial. It just mentions the Hoenn region. Uh, it's just kind of random that they're mentioning the Hoenn region. Like, I, I don't know. It's, it just mentions the Hoenn region. It could mean nothing, but it could, or it could mean everything. I'd say that the other picture about the Battle Frontier shows a lot more proof. <laughs> Next on, uh, why we could get remakes is look at the generations before us generation 2 already got a remake with heart gold and soul silver so that's generation 2 now no i, I, I skipped ahead generation 1 got one so they got fire and leaf green a few years later went by generation 2 got one heart gold and soul silver a few years later Generation 3 will get one. It's just going to keep on going. Then a few years later after gener Generation 3 gets one, then Generation 4 will get one for the Sinnoh region. It's just going to keep on going and going and going in a cycle. And that's just it's just a cycle and it's going to keep going and going and going on until eventually and we will get these games. It's going to happen sometime. It may not happen this year in 2014. It's Probably they're gonna happen really late in 2014 or early 2015. I know uh, Game Freak doesn't really release Pokemon games early in the year. They're usually towards Q4, Q3. Well, they're, they're usually in October, November. So that that's Q4, I'd say. Yeah, that, yeah. The, okay, so yeah, they're normally releasing games around that time. So we're probably gonna get that remake uh and we could get both here's how we we did it before i mean look at uh generation look at generation two no oh, no generation four never mind i'm sorry you got diamond pearl and platinum you have that third game platinum from the diamond probe and then they all in generation four you also had heart gold and still silver so that's just kind of you know same thing as what's going to happen here and we could get these games around the same time if a yeah, game free could split up well and a small team not like not tiny like but small team takes on pokemon d um i don't I don't really see why you need a big team for that because you're not really like you are doing much but you're not really doing a whole bunch like you're obviously going to need a bigger team to work on the remix because that's going to be a lot harder work you're going to have to make a whole new like you're probably going to be using the same like engine as the generation 6 it's probably going to be the same exact graphic style all that it's going to be the same thing but it's just gonna be like the art style is gonna change, you know, to fit that third generation. 
And then, so, that small team takes on Z. Bigger team takes on the remakes. Um, they could be done same time. One could be done first. The oh, team that would probably be done first is Pokemon Z. Because it would make... It would make a lot more sense if we got Pokemon Z before we got the remakes. Because it, it wouldn't go like, kind of smoothly. It wouldn't go XYZ, it'd go XY, and then the remakes would go right there, and then it would go to Z. So, we would probably get Z first. And then we'd get the remakes after. And then we could go on to Generation 7, I don't know. They might make Generation 6 huge and add in X, Y, and Z sequels. Like, black and white did, except they didn't have a third game, they just went from black and white. Instead of having a gray version, they just went straight to black and white 2 and had sequels. So it really, it could go either way. And I think, I think we're getting both. And I think we're gonna get them both definitely before 2015 ends. Hope you guys, I guess, learned something new today. Uh, hope you guys are excited for these new games, because I'd say this is enough proof to show that we're going to get them. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, please click that like button. Please do all that stuff, you know, because just just do it because you'd really make my day, you know. So I anyway, you guys, thank you all. Have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great month. Have a great year. Enjoy 2014. I'll see you guys later. Bye.